doesn't matter the team doesn't matter the players as long as greg popovich is there there's no reason to fare i wanted to rhyme fear but like guess so either way guys i hope you guys have been enjoying the san antonio basketball because as you guys know me being an argentine argentine italian yugoslavian i guess would i be turkish if my family's from the ottoman empire i guess but love my greg popovich just because He's always done a great, you know, it, going to Argentina, always everyone in my family and family and friends were Spurs fans. So I watched a lot of Spurs growing up. And the last few years, the Spurs fan base has been very nice to me. And I've been excited for this year a lot. Jeremy Sohan, quiet game. And primarily this team, it's been the Kelton Johnson, Trey Jones, Devin Vassell show for most of the season. Josh Richardson had, had a lot of points. Doug McDermott had a shooting clinic tonight, had 12 points off of threes. Okay, the man could not hit. And this was a game. First off, there's some problems with Philadelphia. They might need a fire, okay? Doc Rivers. But first off, I'm loving Jeremy Sohan and the plan that they're using him with right now. But for me, I think it's definitely going to be interesting to see how the season plays out because i thought they were tanking to be honest and for me it's been rather in, in crazy just to see how this team has looked really well just moving the basketball and playing good and for me i think it's 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 wild okay because not only is Devin vassell looking like three and d two-way player but trey jones i know i know the shot like three-point shot hasn't fallen and he didn't take any threes tonight but he had 17 points he's looking like the high level backup point guard at the very least or even a guy who could be the starter long term and it's just plays good defense moves the ball he had a bit a little bit more turnovers than he did in the past tonight but good scoring night for him Jakob Pertl. One of the best defensive centers in the NBA comes out, does his thing, a double-double, moves the ball. Kelton Johnson, he's a dog. He's a dog. Kelton Johnson, Devin Vassell, I love that. And then even Trey Jones there. Obviously, we we're hoping to see more from Josh Primo so far this season, scoring-wise. But what we have seen from Josh Primo is a bit better defense and better ball handling and playmaking so i think even though primo the shot isn't falling he's taking the attempts the confidence is there i just think primo will work out he's just you know we've seen the flashes i i liked you know we saw a bit more of isaiah roby tonight i thought he was a like zach collins was cool and all the other night but i'm liking isaiah roby and zach collins being the, the the rotation in there i know it does go into some of jeremy sohan's minutes but also gorgie dan came out tonight and was freaking making plays okay he had five assists two blocks but the, the real story was the they were hitting their threes tonight and they won the rebounding battle and they also were able to just take advantage of the mistakes that the sixers were making and this like first off they had the spurs had what 19 points off of turnovers and it was a, for me it was a, all in all it was a good game it was fun to watch and that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of the game? Was there anything I missed that you guys would have wanted to hear? And expectations for the rest of the season for the San Antonio Spurs as they are currently surprising us with how they've been playing, which I think is all like, don't get me wrong. Like, I think it's awesome how well they've been playing and it's been really fun. And But what I, I want to hear is y'all's opinions on this team okay also I, I think it's pretty crazy that they launched mono ginobili's jersey into space my big question is is do they pollute the space then technically that's a stupid but also i think it's crazy that joel had a 40 point game and he still could have beat the san antonio spurs okay and yeah i i, I had fun i thought it was cool devin vassell is a stud let's just be real about that one Devin Vassell is just so much fun to watch. Just big night, and it's just a you know a good player, good player, playing good, making big plays, and that's that's what the NBA is about. So I want to hear your thoughts. That's basically it for me. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good jazz. I'm a peace out. Till next time, guys. Bye bye. I'm going back home.